Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And I'm going to open a letter, single letter from Belgium sent to me by Petra. And uh, Petra, you've actually sent me, um, let's see, where is it? She sent me posts before, which was really, really cool. And one of the things she sent me was this really sweet Fallen Empires uh, comic with these really cool tokens. So thank you very much for that, Petra. And now you're sending me even more. So really excited to see what's in here. I think you told me you're gonna send me some foreign cards to kind of test my knowledge. So, okay, I'm just gonna open it up and we'll see if I can recognize it or not. Uh, let's try to find an opening. Here we go. Ooh, this looks interesting. We've got some cardboard, probably just to protect the cards. Let's see if I can open it further without damaging anything. There we go. Boom, ba boom, ba bam. And let's see, it says surprise to sponsor your mail day videos. I really, really appreciate that. And I guess I got to cut through here. So I'm going to try to find the place where there doesn't seem to be any magic cardboard, but just regular cardboard. So here we go. Okay, there we go. I guess I can cut it here at the top too, to open things up. Look at that, I see magic cards. That is a good sign. Bam, da, bam, da, bam. Whoa, this is stuck really well. I should use the way you send things as an example, Petra, because I also send stuff out to patrons all the time, but it's it's not <laughs> sent this good. I mean, I do put it in a top loader usually, but this is, wow, this is really well put. Let me just use the scissors here. There we go. Really curious to see what you've sent me. And, uh, okay, there are a couple of cards. And like I said, I believe they're foreign cards, so French or Spanish or Italian. So we'll see if I can recognize them. And let's do the first one. Oh, wow, this is a jump. This is as English as they get, Petra. Look at that art. Such a cool card. And this is a beta copy. Wow, this is pretty. I think I have to play it now. I'm working on a beta blue flyer stack, but I also have beta sea serpents. So maybe I need to use this to give my sea serpents flying and make them unblockable. There's only one, this is one problem I have with this card. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. I think like the way I imagine jump being played is you attack with your creature, your opponent declares blockers, and then you use this as a combat surprise to make your attacker unblockable last minute, right? So you say, I'm gonna, I don't know, block it on my wall of ice. And then you're gonna be, oh, no you don't, because I'm gonna give it flying with jump, but it's gonna jump over your wall and you can actually see that in the art as well. Unfortunately, because of the rules of magic, you have to play this card before blockers are declared. And that kind of, you know, makes it almost more like a sorcery as how you can play it. I guess it works differently when you use jump as a blocking, you know, if you're um, the blocking wizard, you know, they attack and they think, oh, he's got no flying anyway. And all of a sudden you go like, oh, I do, because I've got jump and I give one of my creatures flying and now I can block your flyer and kill it for example, you know? That's a way how it could kind of work as a surprise. Still, beautiful card, beautiful art. I've always liked instance for one blue. I also like like a card like Twiddle, for example. It can be really, really handy. So I'm gonna put it here. Absolutely gorgeous. And not a foreign card. And then we're gonna go here. I think I see two cards. Let's do the white bordered one first. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is sweet. Oh man, I know you've got different variations of Asian writing, right? It can be Japanese, it can be Cantonese. Uh, there are different versions. 
I don't know which version this is. So I'm just, I'm gonna look it up later and I'm gonna get back to you on this. You know what, I'm gonna do it in the same video. So I'm just gonna pause it, I'm gonna look it up and then I'll be right back. So I am back and what I've done, I've took out another foreign card that I have, that this one, and compared it with the one you've sent me, Petra, kind of tried to identify what language is this in. Because you've got Korean, you've got Japanese, you've got traditional Chinese, and you've got simplified Chinese. So there are four options that this card can be. And uh, I stumbled upon a website that kind of explained to me how you can see the differences. So you need to look at the full stop that they're using. For example, here, we see the full stop is a dot in the middle, an open dot. You see that circle, which is open. So this is the dot. If it's a regular dot, like we use in our Western writing, it is Korean. So if this would be on the bottom and just a black dot, the dots that we use for full stops, it would be um, Korean, but that's not the case. Here we see it in the middle. And that means that it's actually, um, let me just check, there's actually a Chinese card. So this is a Chinese protocol sorcerer. This was already in my collection, by the way. This one is not yet in my collection. And this is a Japanese protocol sorcerer. And you can see that because they're using the same dot. So here we can compare, they're using the same dot, but this is at the bottom and this is in the middle. And also there's more distance between them. So this is a Japanese card and this is a Chinese card. I don't think I have a Korean protocol sorcerer yet, but I'll have to check because I just went through one of my binders, so I have to check the others, but I don't think I have one. But this is completely new. So Petra, thank you so much for sending this to me. It's absolutely fantastic. And maybe it's also nice for the viewers to now know the difference between Chinese, Japanese, and Korean and how to identify that. So the trick is by looking at the full stop. And I'll put a link to the article that I found that actually explains it to me. So if you're interested in that, check the description below. And uh, this is another card. Oh, this is a new one. <laughs> well, new, I mean, new for me. This is Weatherlight, of course, a pre-release card. Dirt, Cowl, Worm, one green and four. I actually, wow. I remember buying boosters of Weatherlight, but that's a while back. And look at that, this is a pre-release, very special. Whenever any opponent plays a land, put a plus one, plus one counter on Dirt, Cowl, Worm. Nice, so this is kind of like a landfall mechanic before we had landfall. Wow, really nice. Petra, thank you, thank you so much for these cards. You really shouldn't have, uh, but I'm really, really happy with it, especially with this Protocol Sorcerer, completely new in my collection. Thank you so much. If you have any questions about the cards, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome here to Timmy Talks. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell because all that helps. Um, you know, the channel grow and move forward. Talking about that stuff, you can also become a patron of the channel and you can do that by clicking on the info card that's appearing right now. And of course, if you want to, you can also send me some Timmy's. That's always welcome. Uh, you can always leave a comment here and then I will contact you. For now, thank you very much for watching another Timmy Talks. And uh, let's go to the end scroll and take a look at our fantastic, amazing, wunderbar patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. See you later. Ik het was, ik het was, somber gezien.